Actually, remarkably, the ayah that I shared with you, Wallahu anzala min as ma'an, is not actually about the water and the sky. That's its second purpose. Its primary purpose is dictated by the ayah that came before it. And the ayah that came before it is, وَمَا أَنزَلْنَا عَلَيْكَ الْكِتَابَ إِلَّا لِتُبَيِّنَ لَهُمْ أَلَّذِ اخْتَلَفُوا فِيهِ وَهُدًا وَرَحْمَةً لِقَوْمٍ يُؤْمِنُونَ The previous ayah says, Allah sent the book from the sky. In the next ayah, he said, Allah sent the water from the sky. So if you want to understand the effect of the book of Allah on the earth, if you want to understand the effect of the book of Allah on the earth, you have to understand the effect of water on the earth. You understand? Now, what does water do? Water brings life to the earth. Is it essential for the survival of the earth? Yes. So, if the water is essential for the survival of the earth, the book of Allah properly delivered to all the places that are morally dead, that are spiritually dead, it has to be delivered properly because rain has to come properly, especially to the places that are dead. It has to go to those places and even if they have been dead for centuries, it will bring them back to life. So no matter how bad the situation is, no matter how dead the earth is, when water can bring the earth back to life, no matter how bad the political situation of the world is, no matter how bad the moral situation of the world is, how, no matter how bad the media is in any day and age, no matter how low the Muslims have become, this book has the power to bring people back to life. It has the power to do that. Do you understand? But when the water comes down, when the water comes down, there are two kinds of plants. Plants that grow on their own and plants that you have to what? Are there people in the world that we ne I never met them? I never met them. I just made a YouTube video. And then they come to me and say, Hey, I used to be Christian. I saw your video. I became Muslim. Then I told my family and they became Muslim. Can we take a picture with you? I was like, yeah, can I take a picture with you? Did I do anything with them? No, that was the word of Allah somehow reaching them and they on their own grew. Yes? That is not because of our effort, that is because Allah grows Iman in the heart of whoever He wants. All I had to do was do a little bit, little bit, but Allah will spread it Himself. Allah will spread, actually about the rain, He says something beautiful. You are not the one who sends the water down. You're not the one who delivers it to the earth. I am not the one who will deliver the word of Allah into somebody's heart. I can only try to make some effort. The actual delivery is happening just like the rain by who? By Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But there is one very important difference. Please understand this difference. Water comes from the sky. Yes? And is there, does water come to the sky in one bucket and then you have to go deliver it? Or it goes everywhere on itself? It goes by itself. But when book, the book comes from the sky, it goes to one messenger. It comes to one man. And then he has to make the effort to what? Deliver it. And then the people he delivers it to, they have to, to make the effort to what? Deliver it more. Allah will not send the book to everyone. We have to deliver it. So we have some similarity with the rain. The Qur'an has similarity with the rain, but there's a difference. The rain, we don't go and distribute it. By the way, if you made the Muslims responsible for distributing the rain on the earth, we would be an extinct species. But we are responsible for delivering the word of Allah to the earth. Are we doing a good job? I would argue no. I would argue we're doing a pretty terrible job. 
I would argue we're doing a pretty terrible job even with Muslims. Forget non-Muslims. Because we make it seem harsh. We don't make it... The rain is supposed to be rahmah, not adab. But we present it as adab. Even ask a 10-year-old boy, a 10-year-old girl, living in Pakistan, living in Bangladesh, living in Kuwait, living in Bahrain, living in America, living in Australia. A 10-year-old Muslim boy. What does the Quran say? Quran says lots of things are haram. And Allah gets very angry. Where did they learn that from? Their parents. We, we teach harshness from the beginning. We heard the recitation. Allah introduced the teaching of the Quran with which name? Ar-Rahman Allam al-Quran. Fa'ayna ar-Rahma fi ta'lim al-Quran. You know, this is the problem. It's a very serious problem.